Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jonathan Porticalian. Um, today we're going to be doing a little voiceover. Um, I'm going to be having this on both channels, so whichever channel you're on, my personal channel or our uh, business channel, Wetscape Fiberglass Pools or Jonathan Porticalian, I'll leave the link in the description for both. Go check either one out, but I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone on this one because this is just a really cool project uh, we're working on and um, you know show show you uh, both uh, audiences and you know show what we're doing all right let's get into it we're doing the soffit right now in the front um, everything's just looking good coming together those are uh, 24 inches roundabout uh, we're doing a uh, the James Hardy soffit and um, vented so the vents on the front um, you know everything's turning out really nice on this project this is a, a big old pool house we're doing for the libs and um, you know, I, the, the size is roughly about uh, 20 by uh, 30 roughly I don't have the exact dimensions but inside the kitchen you know bathroom we got your equipment room uh, HVAC room and then we got another storage room so it's pretty cool um, you know, cool little build, travertine pavers, about 3,800 square feet, roughly, uh, with a retaining wall, with a travertine coping cap on top of that, deck lighting, um, 40 by 16 illusion shell by Imagine Pools, and then it's got a spillover hot tub, so it's a pretty cool build. Um, but, you know, this is uh, this is what we do as, uh, as builders, and, um, you know, we, we build entire projects it's what we're good at um you know it's the it's just kind of something we do so um you know the quality we expect when you're getting a, a wetscapes pool uh and pool house project whatever it is um you know it's it's a high standard for us you know and it's it's uh i'm not trying to brag or nothing but you know we we take pride in what we do so this is what you get when you um, when you buy a, a pool from us and sign a contract and get something done, so like right here you can see he's uh, we're running all these soffits to one point, and so all the fronts line up. There's a hundred ways you could do this, but this is just how I decided to do it that day. Um, you know, we stopped that soffit up right at the edge of the front of the pool house, and then we ran the uh, front over. Um, so we just finished it up. Now we're on the Hardy backer, um, but you can see you know as a detail on this pool uh, pool house is the um, is the zip sheeting in the back um, you know we I took very very um, I don't even know what to say De there's a lot of detail to how I waterproofed and air proofed this uh, build um, every seam is zip tape every protrusion out of the wall pipes electrical HVAC lighting um, everything it gets taped I got a stretch or a liquid flash tape and then uh, all of our flashing was taped and then um, the seam or not the seam but the end you can see at the bottom of the wall is liquid flashed so what that does is I've created a hundred percent water barrier there so it's just you know this pool is gonna last Pool house is going to last well over 100 years because of details like this. You're not allowing any moisture to get in. Um, not let any bugs. You're sealing that thing off completely. So uh, what's one of the benefits of this coated sheeting? And then you add the seal up, the tape and everything else, and you do a great job of sealing everything off. You get a very uh, long-lasting product.
So those are details, very important, around all of our electrical boxes, everything. You know, because when you put a stone cap or even a hardy cap over that, it's caulked and painted or it's mortared around it, but moisture and water gets in there. And when you have regular sheeting uh, in there or, you know, just even zip sheeting, you know, there's still cuts and exposed sheeting on the edges. So that's just a very great detail that we uh, took time on this one and uh, turned out great. thing I do want to mention is you can see we just put that hardy backer underneath that really tall piece um, it's because that's over 10 feet and our sheets are only 10 feet so we just added a piece underneath and that's why it's short but we'll make up for it you'll see in the next video and how we do that um, it's pretty cool give you guys a little close-up that's how we do it here the space is awesome we love this detail it's the only way we'll do hardy uh, board mat and whatever it is we'll cut like this one specifically because the front side had um, was short because it was over 10 foot. That's the biggest piece we can get. Um, we did a one by 10 and then we ripped it about an inch and a five eighths off. See the little bevel? And then we're gonna put a table, what they call a table edge. And then uh, it just makes it awesome. And so we've done our prep work behind the Hardy. So yeah, some people may say it leak a little bit, which it never does. But um, our prep with the Z, um, zip sheeting and all the liquid flash we've done all the taping everything is water and airtight so anything that gets behind here if at all any condensation whatever it's good so just a little break from the time lapse got our blocks on everything doors cased out blocks and everything most people won't do this they'll just go around it this just makes it so much nicer So normally, I want to mention that, you know, we normally run our freeze board, which is at the very top. Um, and the reason we didn't is because of just the angle of the roof. And it was going to be really hard to get those angles right. And just the thicknesses of the piece and cutting a bevel, and it was just a nightmare. So the fastest and easiest way to do that is run the corners really nice and perfect, and then butt it all. And uh, that's what we did. Turned out great. Um, but it's just another example of just of innovating on what we're doing.
know, there's so many ways you can do this style of Hardy. You know, you, there's the sky's the limit. I mean, there's ways to put crown up to do a uh, you know a top on top of your header. Um, you know, and just I mean, there's just the sky's the limit. You know, it just depends on your budget and the creativity. And a lot of people that do Hardy, uh, James Hardy and stuff, and board batten, whatever the style is, they don't have the design in mind and so they're just like we're gonna throw it up and be done and we kind of like to put it all together and make it look great you know you've you know Bobby spent a ton of money on this pool and uh, you know with the travertine the pool itself and the hot tub and the pool house you know we just want everything to be top-notch and um, just making sure everything is top quality um, everything is centered as best as possible um, the front as you can see through the thumbnail the front is perfectly centered. All the lights, uh, the doors, um, you know, when I measured out the bats, everything was perfect. And so, you know, that kind of uh, quality is something that we strive for every project. And, um, you know, you spend good money, you want it to be uh, uh, top quality. thing I do want to point out is this window was so cool um, setting it first time we've ever done one like this we had to this is like three or four days later um, but it opens up you know from the top and it's just like these two hydraulic springs it's really cool um, that all turned out we boxed it all in with Hardy it looks amazing and we're just finishing up the cedar here everything just turned out so well we'll drill can lights in later um, but you know, that's about it guys I mean thank you so much for watching uh, please subscribe, like the video if you um, liked it, and um, come back for more. Um, and see, let me know if you like these uh, kind of videos. See you next time.